This is Benjamin Raven, MLive.com in Detroit, inside of the 2018 Mazda 6. Now, wow, I spent a lot of time in this car in the past week, seriously. Detroit to Grand Rapids to Chicago to Grand Rapids, back to Detroit. So, and yes, I got permission to do that. <laughs> but a uh, fantastic ride. Um, the Mazda 6 is just big enough for me, a 6'6 person, that I can comfortably ride in here. I do have to open up the moonroof to keep my hair and my hat from touching the top, but that's about it. And yeah, my seat is as low as it goes, but we had a couple people in here at times and it got us to where we were going and got us to where we were coming back to safely. And that's what you can ask. Uh, the gas mileage was appreciated at 26 miles a gallon combined, 23 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway. That's where I felt it the most. Um, from Detroit to Chicago, I didn't have to get gas until my second day in Chicago, so appreciative of that. I only put gas in it twice and I'm handing it back with a half tank of gas, so there you go. This Mazda 6 came in the machine gray metallic color. We got parchment Napa leather on the inside. We'll get to more of the interior and exterior design in a little bit. MSRP on this model came in at $36,140. Uh, expensive, expensive on this end of the spectrum for the Mazda 6, but I mean, all the bells and whistles, all the safety features, cooled seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel, air conditioner, sport mode, eco mode, adaptive cruise, lane keep assist, uh, the beautiful heads up display from Mazda, they have mastered that. Um, I mean, you can get your GPS directions on your head-up display on the windshield in front of the driver's face. Uh, it tells you the speed limit. It puts a yellow or orange box around the speed limit when you're speeding. Uh, it tells you what your cruise is set at, how fast you're going, the directions, all that stuff. The head-up display, oh, it's just perfect. It's perfect. It's customizable. It's just great. Everything is easy to use in here from the, oh, how big is that screen there? But from the 7-inch screen to the controls down here where my hand goes down by the shifter everything's easy everything's within reach everything has a function um while we're on the safety features um just one thing to note the I, I all the other safety features are fantastic i mean did not feel intrusive the adaptive cruise control the adaptive cruise control in the 2018 mazda 6 is one of those where it's a little jumpy when it needs to pick up the acceleration and it's a little on the other side of things a little too much on um, you know it's just not smooth the adaptive cruise control does not adapt very smoothly when you get out to pass somebody that's going slow it takes a while to get up to speed and it takes a while to not only get up to speed but for the vehicle to start going and once it starts going you jolt back it's very jumpy very jumpy on the brakes and the acceleration with the adaptive cruise control that is my one note uh, some other features of the Mazda 6. This comes with the Sky Active 2.5 four-cylinder engine. Uh, we got the sport mode, makes capable of making 227 horsepower or 310 pounds of torque. Uh, I felt that the power distribution was very balanced. Outside of the adaptive cruise control, braking and acceleration and handling, just very smooth, very balanced, very easy to use. Nothing exceptional, nothing bad, nothing right home about. Kind of balanced down the middle. Uh, very comfortable, safe, adequate ride. Um, for $36,000, this is a hard vehicle to gauge because on the inside, it's kind of small in some areas, like headroom and legroom, but then there's a fair amount of cargo space. I went to Chicago for a week and I had enough cargo space for radio boards, suitcases, workout bags, shoes. I mean, I filled it up, but it filled up. So, I mean, you could sit five in here, four comfortably, and enough cargo room for all of those people going. So, good, adequate cargo space. Look for the specifics in this post. Um, I mean, just basic takeaways before we start to get into the exterior and the interior stuff. Everything was easy to use. Everything had a function. Um, outside of the adaptive cruise control, you know, you wouldn't notice the things going on because they're so smooth. Outside of that cruise control, though. But... Anything else, you know, not, not many complaints. I felt that the gas mileage, the fuel economy ratings were very good, very good, felt felt that. I mean, that's what I basically tested. Uh, it's a great road trip car. You know, the air-conditioned seats are game changers, and honestly, 
for anyone shorter than six foot five, six foot six, you're gonna be comfortable in this front seat. That's just the tough thing for me, and that's why I always note it. I'm different than you. You're different than me. You're probably smaller than I am. You will fit inside of this car. It's a comfortable, sharp, sharp car. Now we're gonna look at the exterior and the interior, and I'll kind of walk through that. On the outside, just that sharp Mazda front end, you know? The Mazda front end really works on a lot of their vehicles, but I feel like it really fits the Mazda 6 the best. It just is sharp. I like the way it looks. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that interior design at all. Let's get under the hood here. And there you go, there's that Sky Active technology I was talking about earlier in the video. Not a ton to see here. The sharp exterior design, 2018 Mazda 6. I have a couple of reasons for being at the car wash today with the Mazda 6. One, my road is under construction and it was covered in dust and I didn't want to show you a car completely covered in dust. And two, I wanted to show off the rain sensing wipers. Now I promise that my rain, my uh, windshield wipers are not on right now. Now watch as the rinse comes across. Oh, look at that. Oh, one more time. Oh, just to show you that they're not on. Quick reflex, there you go, really cool stuff. Now here's what I'm talking about. I hope you guys can see the head-up display up here. Yeah, you see where that zero is? I mean, you'll see the cruise control set there. If you have GPS punched in through the digital dashboard, it'll show you the directions right in front of you so you don't have to look around. That is fantastic, and I hope to see head-up displays become required on vehicles in the future because if we're going to use things like GPS, it needs to be seamless. It needs to be as least intrusive as possible. And I mean... Mazda is one of those automakers that they're throwing technology at you, but they're doing it in a way that won't distract you from the main thing, being safe while driving on the road. And that is what I appreciate. Everything is here, yeah, the standard Mazda setup, everything's within reach. I can reach everything without stretching, that's fantastic. I love the, the Napa Pearl with the darker colors here. It's just a slick setup. You got the wood paneling, kind of, <laughs> you know, the dark wood paneling here. You got the sunroof, not uh, completely through panoramic, but uh, yeah, the back seat was very adequate. John, my buddy John, was in the back seat for a lot of this trip, and he fit fine. Uh, I was in the front seat, obviously, and uh, here I am. I had legroom, legroom, legroom. Yep, I'm under the steering wheel. That's the battle right there. 